Finally. Started to think you weren't coming. Nobody said you had to hang out in the creepy cave while you waited. Well, I did wait, so let's make this quick. These idiots are carrying the Red Lyrium out in unprotected containers. We don't want to stick around long enough for to start talking to us. How did you find this operation in the first place? There must be hundreds of Deep Roads entrances. I've used this entrance in the past. Varric's not the only surface dwarf to explore the Deep Roads. Oh, I've got to admit, I was pretty surprised when I came here and found it full of humans. If you're coming with us, I hope you can handle a fight. No, I thought I'd cower helplessly while you do all the work. She's a decent shot. Decent? You want me to admit you're better than me in front of the Inquisitor? Let's not waste any more time, shall we? What you do now? Beg pardon? Skulking around in caves, shooting guys. Is this your day to day? I usually try to avoid the caves.
You had me worried, you know. What did I do now? That letter you sent me about the... I built these doors. They probably shut this one from the other side when they heard the ruckus we were making. Ta-da! You've been here often enough to renovate the cave? You already know I've used this entrance in the past. I don't know if Eric's told you, but the Merchant's Guild is cutthroat. Literally. I built the doors to keep rivals from following me down here and arranging accidents. I guess it's a good thing you came along then. I get that a lot. After you. ever shooting people together. Remember crashing Bartram's guild dinner? You might as well have shot him. This isn't nearly as dangerous as pissing off my brother. entrance again. Bianca. You want to say something, Varric? Andraste's ass, Bianca. You're the leak? When I got the location, I went and had a look for myself. And I found the Red Lyrium, and I... studied it. You know what it does to people. I was doing you a favor. You want to know how this stuff works just as much as I do. I just... wanted to figure it out. How did you go from studying Red Lyrium to giving the location to Corypheus? I found out that Red Lyrium... It has the Blight, Varric. Do you know what that means? What? 
The two deadly things combined to form something super awful? Lyrium is alive, or something like it. Blight doesn't infect minerals, only animals. I couldn't get any further on my own, so I looked for a Grey Warden mage. Blight and magical expertise in one, right? And I found this guy, Lorias. He seemed really interested in helping my research. So I gave him a key. Lorias? He was the Grey Warden we met in Corypheus's... Oh, shit. I knew something seemed off. I didn't realize until you said you found Red Lyrium at Haven. I came here and, well, then I went to you. That name means something to you, Varric? He was at the Grey Warden prison where we found Corypheus. And he definitely wasn't a mage before. You had to know we'd figure out what happened, Bianca. Why did you insist on coming with us? Varric told me what people were doing with the Red Lyrium. I had to help make this right. You couldn't have known what would happen. Mafarath's balls, she couldn't. I told her exactly how bad this shit was. I told her to keep away from it. I know I screwed up, but we did fix it. It's as right as I can make it. This isn't one of your machines. You can't just replace a part and make everything right. No, but I can try, can't I? Or am I supposed to wallow in my mistakes forever, kicking myself, telling stories of what I should have done? Ha! As if I would tell stories about my own mistakes. Oh, for pity's sake, would you two just get a room? Sorry, Inquisitor. We've done all we can here. Bianca, you'd better get home before someone misses you. Varric. Don't worry about it. Get him killed, and I'll feed you your own eyeballs, Inquisitor. <laughs>